Now woe be to the fearful heart and the faint of hands and the sinner that go goeth two ways. Or somebody double minded. God. Go ahead. Alright, that's a sinner that go off two ways. That means you double minded. You don't have faith in y'all watch now. That's why you like that. You no, know, you doubt it. You don't have faith. You don't know whether you want to serve the heavenly father or be in the world. Mm -hmm. You double minded. When the affliction Come, verse 13, woe unto him that is faint-hearted, for he believeth not, See? therefore shall he not be defended. See that? So if he's not defended, where he is? He's back in the world. He ain't, he ain't uh, with Yahweh Shemel Shah, but he was double-minded. He don't know whether he want to serve the Heavenly Father or not. So what he do? Go back in the world. And when you in the world, you don't do it. You asked out. It's uh, this uh, uh, First Peter four sixteen, right? It said, "If any man suffer as a Christian, being anointed, right? If he's anointed, let him not be ashamed, but let let him glory, glory the power on his behalf. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of the power." Meaning the heavenly father. Right? And and if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the power? Question. You see what I'm saying? So it's gonna be begin at the house of Israel. So that's why you see Jake's falling out, man. Because the heavenly father got a case built up against him. He gave him an opportunity. He can have mercy on him, right? For them to see this truth, and they was doing things, even though the brothers didn't see them doing things, the Heavenly Father was watching. So the Heavenly Father, perfect example, made Jake believe in the flat earth doctrine. And they fell out. Some simple. See that? So that's how it worked. The Heavenly Father, even though you in this truth, you still on trial, man, with the Heavenly Father. It's all it's all a test. And he liked this zip. Look, I showed you this truth. You better walk this path and do what I say, do according to these scriptures, because you can end up just like a two-third all over again. And that's what happened. Two-thirds believe in simple shit. So that's what happened to brothers that was in this truth. They believe in some simple shit and they got spit out, man. Most, most high was building the case of this. That's how it works, man. That's how it works, man. You know? But uh but if you suffering, right? Don't, don't uh, forsake the Heavenly Father if you're going through them trials and tribulations. Don't forsake them, you know. It is what it is. No, it's a test, man. It's, uh, it's, it's, uh, first, uh, this is 1 Peter 4 and 17. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the power. And, it, and if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel? Question. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinners of people? Look up that word scarcely. Scarcely. Right? Yeah. When you go deep, when you go into that, well, let the brother look it up. Me? Hello? Yeah, we in 1 Peter 4 and the Well, really 18. 18. Scarcely is a Greek word, Greek number 34, 33. The Greek word is molus, molus, the strong definition. No Prop. pictures, no, no pictures. No nah, no pictures of, uh, of us. You can take pictures of that. Oh, okay, okay. It says, with difficulty, hardly, scarcely, with much work. The blue letter, with difficulty, hardly, See, not easily. Not easily. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be it's gonna be with skill. Okay? And the angels in the heavenly father are the only one that can complete that. Okay? With difficulty and with skill, man. The heavenly father is the only one. When you look up the word, when you go deep to the word, you start going to the etymology, you start looking up the word. Okay? What it basically means is skillful. Okay? Read it, read the definition again. God. It says 
with difficulty, hardly, not easily, i.e. scarcely, very rarely. Strong definition with difficulty, hardly, scarcely, with much work. Yeah, see, so scarcely and difficulty, right? But when you start going into them words and looking up them words that he just uh, uh, rattled off through the spirit, that he just called through the spirit, it basically go into uh, skillfully, okay? And the angels is the only one that's going to deliver uh, 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 Israel out of this destruction, out of Satan's empire, which is the so-called white man's empire, okay? That's what's going to happen. It says, uh, uh, 1 Peter 4, 18, and if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinners appear? Wherefore let them that suffer according to the will of the power commit the keeping of their soul to him in well doing as a as as unto the faithful creator. So that's that, man. Right? Even though you're going through these conditions, I right, continue in the faith, Lord willing, even though it's gonna be a difficult uh, uh, time and you're gonna have to be saved skillfully. And you suffer right now, that's just the way it's set up, man. It's prophesied that this gonna happen like that. So just, you know what I'm saying, the Heavenly Father, uh, keep the spirit on you to endure, man. And stay disciplined, man. And continue to depend on him, man. Because you're gonna suffer while you're in this truth, man. So the question, the question he was posing was like, shit, don't people on the outside, in a nutshell, when you understand these scriptures and you link them up and study, you understand that them people that, that's not of the Heavenly Father, that's not of Israel, two-thirds of our people, gonna be destroyed, man. That's gonna be their lot, man. That's gonna be their lot. You know? But uh go uh, back. Hebrews. Go, 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 go. Alright, let me read this one. It says Hebrews 10 in uh 37. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come, and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. So you draw back, what? You go back into the world. Right? You lose faith, you lose faith, you lose uh, patience. You go back into the world, you out of there, man. Okay? That's just what it's going to be. Go ahead. But we are not of them who draw back into perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. See that? shall be beat with many strikes. When he looked that up, he said basically your, your flesh gonna be tore off your uh, body. Yeah. Go ahead. It says, Hebrews 6, and, six and, uh, 3, and this will we do if the Most High permit. For if it is possible for those who were once in life, it begins slow. Con, it says, verse 4, for if it, for it is impossible for those who were once enlightened. Enlightened in what? The truth. Enlightened about the kingdom. Enlightened about the counsel of the Heavenly Father. Knowing who they are. The Heavenly Father, the Heavenly Father and, they, and His Son. Knowing their name. Okay? Knowing who salvation is for. Okay? Go ahead. And have tasted of the heavenly gift. What's the heavenly gift? Basically, understanding these scriptures and going out and teaching and, and being able to uh, tell Israel about it and influence them through the spirit of power, Yahweh Shemesh to come back in. Okay, go ahead. And were made partakers of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Verse five. And have tasted the good word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and the powers of the world to come. See, the powers of the world to come. Talking about the kingdom, man. All the blessings that Israel going to get. Go ahead. God, verse 6. If they shall fall away. What? 
they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance, seeing they crucify to themselves the Son of God afresh. All right, look up that word afresh. Huh. Patient with us, Israel. You know what we got to do? We got to look up words. You got to learn to do that. Jake got to learn to look up words. It's a Greek of fresh. It's Greek 388. That Greek word, anastoro. 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 Right. Strong's definition from 303 and 14. 4717 to re crucify figuratively and crucify fresh blue letter to raise up upon a cross to crucify so what is what is Bailey saying is read it again it says strong's definition to re crucify to re crucify so for him to come back down here and die again for you and to renew you, that's basically impossible because he's not coming back down to die for you again. And basically, when you ask somebody out, right, you basically cutting yourself. Uh, uh, when you when you put somebody up on the cross, in this case Israel, when they separate themselves from your how about was shot, that's just like a crucifixion. You being separated from the body. <coughs> so when you put him up there, you basically being separated from the body. And you go back in the world, it's impossible for you, how about Shemel Shai, to come back down here and actually die for you again, like he did. So you basically separated from the body, man. There's no way you can get back. Okay? Go ahead. Go ahead. Says, seeing that they crucified to themselves the son of power afresh, and put him to an open shame. Verse seven. For the Cause see, the thing about it is, you knew, you knew. But once you, once you went back into the world, what you do? You separated from all the things that you knew. You went back into the world. Okay, you got away from the heavenly Father and His Son. You don't believe in Israel no more. You say the Bible ain't no good. You say the Apocrypha ain't no good. I ain't teaching that. I ain't teaching the Bible no more. I'm gonna cut my beard. I ain't telling Israel about the kingdom no more. I believe in Egyptology or I believe in Islam or I believe I'm going back to church. You just been fucked up, man. That's what you done done. So you basically separated yourself from the body of the heavenly Father and His Son. And it's impossible for him to come back down, which he's not going to do, and die for you again to renew you back to the truth. It's over with, man. It's over. You asked out, man. Go ahead. For the earth was drinking in the rain. It says, for the earth was drinking in the rain that cometh off upon it, mm -hmm. and bringeth forth herbs meat for them. Mm -hmm. By whom it is dressed, receiveth blessings from Yahweh. Right, go ahead. But that which beareth thorns and briars is rejected. That which is born thorns and briars. That basically things of the world. Okay, because you start teaching, you start teaching things of the world, right? You start teaching things of the world, that's not of the that's not of the Bible. You supposed to stay with what you learn when you read back up in the beginning, right? The gift and the and the, and the power you supposed to, you supposed to teach that about the kingdom, but when you start teaching about bride and thorns, which is up uh, uh, outside of the Bible, because you didn't left, okay, that's not gonna help you, man. That's not gonna bring you back. So there's no way you can come back, man. You basically out of there. Look up that word thorns and bride. You basically out of there, man. This your shot. This it. This ain't no, this ain't no game, okay? This life is death. And the Heavenly Father is not joking with you Negro Latinos and Native Americans. Think he a joke? 
Look what he did to him when we disobeyed. He put our ass in slavery. Okay? So when he come back, when he sent his